So these are the brand new Radio X2s, the world's first binocular full color 3D AR glasses on the market. In fact, I haven't reviewed anything like this on my channel because most of the AR glasses I get in are just extensions of your smartphone. They like need to be physically tethered and all they really do is show you a bigger display that you can obviously utilize. Now I do wanna thank TCL for partnering on this video and getting me out to CES so that I can show you guys these, but these are a self-containing unit. Like you don't need to connect this physically to your smartphone. It's all done wirelessly. The only thing you can do is basically connect it wirelessly to your smartphone so that it can get internet access and obviously you can transfer media back and forth. Now the cool thing about it is it looks a lot like a regular pair of glasses. Like don't get me wrong, they're obviously thicker and bigger just because there's a compute element inside of it. Like these are using a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2, which is a pretty powerful chip. But one thing that's very different is the lens setup. Like not only are these micro LED lenses, so you get like really good crispy images, but you don't have like a thick layer in front of it that gets in way of the flat surface. Like these are like your traditional lenses you'd find on glasses, but obviously with a display embedded to them. Now the advantage of this is that you don't have to adjust the IPD. Once you put these on for the very first time, they're ready to go because the displays on each lens are wide enough that it will support different eye sizes. Now the glasses have a lot of functions and buttons on them. A lot of them are touch sensitive. So for example, on the top over here, you have a little port that allows you to charge the glasses. And then if you have a touch sensitive control on both sides of the stems. So on the left hand side, if you swipe back and forth, it will increase or decrease the volume, for example. But on the right side, this will allow you to go through the menus. And if you tap it, you can access one of those applications or if you double tap it you can exit depending on what it's asking you. Also if you don't want to attract a lot of attention by constantly having to swipe or tap on the side of the glasses you can pick up their ring. This will basically just rest on your finger and this is a capacitive screen that allows you to swipe back and forth up and down and you can even turn the glasses on and off. You have two speakers on the top and these work very well like it's loud enough that I could be walking down the street listening to music from my phone and still not get interrupted by traffic. But if you're in a quiet room, some people might be able to hear it. The good news though, is that there's a whisper mode function that will basically lower it enough that you can hear it fine, but nobody else around you can hear whatever you're playing. Now, these are not the type of AR glasses that will blow up whatever you're looking at on your phone. Like you're not gonna watch Netflix from your phone on this. But what you can do is obviously use a music app to go back and forth between different music applications. But what this really does is basically augment reality. So when you're wearing this headset, you could be walking around town and then you could activate the glasses and use one of the map functions to get from point A to point B. And the cool thing about it is it's so good that it basically directs you. Like you see a live map right in front of your face. It doesn't obstruct what you're looking at because these are regular lenses at the end of the day. And it will basically tell you where to go wherever you are. But the coolest thing was being able to translate. So I was in their demo suite and uh, I was testing this out with some of their employees and one of them was speaking Mandarin to me. And I don't know how to speak Mandarin. Like I can barely speak English, right? And they were talking in Mandarin and it was translating it. Like I can literally have a conversation with that person assuming they know English as well. But it was just really cool. Like I predict a future where it does it so incredibly fast that it just feels natural. And this is like basically the first step. There's a bunch of languages it supports. Like I saw French, I saw German, I saw Spanish, I saw Chinese. There's a long list of languages that it does uh, translate for you, but I'm sure down the road they'll be adding a ton more. The other cool feature is just, you know, being able to get information quickly. So, you know, maybe you're walking around town and you wanna know like the closest coffee shop by you, or maybe you wanna find vegan food if you're a vegan you can ask the glasses. Like the AI behind it is using chat GPT-4, chat GPT-3.5, so you have access to that uh, AI database. Plus on top of that, it has its own LLM, language models that it can utilize to help translate things for you. Now the big question is how does everything look? So the good news is your vision will never be obstructed. You will have information in front of you, but it's clear, it's clean. And because this has 1500 nits of brightness, I've never felt that it was too dark or an issue being able to read 
the text on the screen. And I'm in Vegas, okay? And it's bright out there. Like Vegas is a sunny place and I was outside walking around town and I was able to easily read everything that it was producing in front of me. Now, if you don't need to use maps, if you don't need to live translate, it still does all the basic options that other smart glasses do. So if you're walking and you wanna record a video, you can do that. You know, you can quickly slide the side of the glasses by your temple. If they're off, it will automatically do a quick capture, take a photo of whatever you're looking at and then store it on the glasses. Now you do have 128 gigabytes of storage. So that's good enough space to get some videos down. It's a 16 megapixel camera in the front, so it has good resolution and you can record video. I, I was recording 15 or 16 seconds of video without any issues. There is a little light on the right hand side that will light up to show you that the glasses are taking a picture or recording. So that will, you know, be a little bit better if people are worried about privacy, but it's not gonna be on the front of the glasses. Now, one area that's super powerful is learning and education. And there's this really cool app that teaches you how to play a steel drum. This is so much more powerful than reading a manual or watching a video because you'll stare at the steel drum and then you'll see visuals over it letting you know where to place the drum sticks. And by the time the example is over, you already know a brand new song. But if you wanna have some fun, there's a bunch of different animated characters you can access. There's Grace, an uh, animated character named Amy. She comes out of a portal. She has a quirky little attitude. I asked her if I should buy a MacBook or a Windows PC. And she told me that it was basically up to me to decide, but I was able to follow up. Like I was able to follow up to the question and she understood and was able to answer me back, which I thought was pretty cool. Like context is huge. And if the AI you're talking to can follow along, that seems to be very, very important. I think the coolest thing for me was definitely the live translation. Like just being able to listen to someone talk in a language I personally don't understand and get real time results in the language I do understand was really cool because usually most people have to pull out their phone, they're pointing at the person's face, but the whole time the speaker's already directly in my ear, I'm maintaining that direct eye contact so it feels like a more natural conversation. So these glasses will be out very soon. I'll place all the information and pricing in the description down below. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know as well. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.